Welcome back. Today I'd like to show you guys the anatomy of a typical operating room. So as we go in, we'll start over here, the commander of the operating room. So this station over here is for the circulator. The circulator has a touch screen and can control the integrated operating room. She can switch whatever video has to go to whatever monitor and on the nicer rooms she can control this equipment boom right here turning the light source, the encephalator, stuff like that so this is the touch panel that the nurse is going to use and then when they direct the video to wherever it's got to go then they're going to pop over to their own PC and they're going to start charting. So as the doctor's calling out stats, she's going to be entering it here into the patient's record. This operating room has got an equipment boom. So this is kind of a simple room. A lot of the better rooms have two equipment booms, one on this side and one on the other side of the bed. On the equipment boom, you'll see we have a camera box, an a light source, and that down there is an electrosurgical unit. There's also an irrigation pump. This right here is a Neptune, which is a giant suction unit. There's a little manifold that pops in here and here. They connect suction tubes straight to that. And there's reservoirs in the top and the bottom that contain the hazardous material. It's a much cleaner way of doing it than the old way, which is these containers right here. We have over here the surgical table, which will be positioned when the patient comes in. Here's the anesthesia workstation. So anesthesia actually has a lot of equipment. Here you'll see their IV pole. There's the anesthesia machine itself, right here. This one is an Avant CS2, or C squared, CS squared. Here's the patient monitor, which will have the patient statistics, uh, their vital signs. This right here will show them the gases for the patient, what they're currently administering. And this is anesthesia's charting computer so that they're constantly inputting statistics into the patient's chart for blood pressure, the amount of anesthetant, uh, any uh, injections that they're going to give the patient they'll be laid out right here on the table and there's going to be another IV pole right there that one normally has uh, blood warmers on it so they warm the fluids that come into the patient especially with pediatrics because uh, you know their body mass is small up here you have a pulse oximeter that will measure the amount of oxygen that's in the uh, patient's blood over here we have a Pixis machine. There's a Pixis machine in the background, you can see it. Those uh, make sure that when a consumable is removed, it's charged to the patient's account. Over here is the physician's PC. So the physician will pull up a study, uh, which would be a radiographic image or something like that, and uh, then they can route it to these overhead monitors. So. The surgeon will be standing here, he's looking at that monitor, and they often will be displaying the radiographic images over here on this monitor. And the boom that's behind anesthesia, right there, that's called the anesthesia boom. Let me circle around so you guys can get a better view of it. It's got electrical circuits, but most importantly, it's got gases. You can see right there. There's vacuum, and right there you can see the nitrous oxide, which is the blue. We've got the waste gas, which is the purple, med air, which is yellow, and oxygen, which is the green. They connect right over here on the side of the boom. You can see that they've already got this room prepped for the first case of the morning. Over here is an Olympus tower. They're going to use that for doing flexible scopes. This cabinet behind it actually has all my video scalers, which uh, upscale the video images and put them into high definition so that they can be routed to these monitors overhead. And then right behind 
this guy is the video cabinet. So in that giant cabinet down there is the audio and video equipment. You can see that this room is pretty current. We have LED lights and then we also have LED lights overhead right here and right here. And they can control a lot of that from over there. You can see that control right there on the wall. That control, that control, or they can pop into the touch screen right there and they can control the lights from in the touch screen. So one of the things I didn't talk about is the overhead cabinet. You can see that I have a video recorder right there that will record either still images or live motion video and we put it in the patient's chart. There's this little box right here which is the box that allows the circulating nurse, the one sitting here, to control these devices. And at the very top is actually the controller for the in-light camera. You can see that little thin bar at the top right there? That guy is right up here. the inlight camera. Often they'll put the inlight camera on this big monitor right here. All the staff that's in the room can currently see where the doctor's at so he doesn't have to tell them the progress of the operation. That's it guys. Hope you enjoyed it. A typical overview of integrated operating room. Let me know if you enjoy it. I'll be happy to take any suggestions. Just leave me a comment down below. Thanks.